Hi, I'm Jalila, Planetary Healer, and here I am in my garden with my swimming pool in Bali, which is a, a very beautiful place in the world and a very special place for people to come to for healing. Um, so I thought I'd just show you what it's like and what my life is like and I want to talk to you about healing like what is that so you might think that healing is like when you're sick and then um, you have to get better but actually healing is not really about that not the healing I'm talking about so healing is about how you can get in touch with what's going on in you and be true to it and be true to you and express who you really are um, and be honest about your emotions and let them come out. Um, <laughs> they're shaking the tins because of um, the birds in the rice field. So, sorry, it's a bit noisy. Um, yeah, so healing is about accessing what is deeply inside of you and becoming okay with it and comfortable with it. And in my world, it's getting in touch with eight different parts that are inside of you that are normally kind of at war with each other and harmonizing how they each feel about things how they feel about each other and how they can work together <laughs> show you a nice what I said oh yeah over there there's the lady in the <laughs> this just goes on for a few weeks of the year when when the harvest is, see the little blue hut, so the lady's in there with the strings in the background. She's got all these strings that go <laughs> onto all these tins and she's out there making her Balinese offerings and shaking the tins like crazy to frighten the birds. So, you know, we're, we're still connected to agriculture here, which is a very beautiful thing, actually. It's a bit like what I imagine it might have been like in the UK, where I'm from a few hundred years ago you know so they still plant the entire rice field by hand and um, pick it by hand it's a beautiful thing and a lovely thing to be near and to watch so planetary healing what is planetary healing well why do we need to heal our planet let's just talk about that why are there problems on our planet and who created them who created them? We created them! Why did we do that? <laughs> Why did we chuck a load of plastic in the ocean? <clears throat> Why did we create pollution? Why do we do anything? So why we do anything is inside us. It is how we feel deeply about ourselves, about ourselves as humans, about ourselves as these different parts within us that uh, relate to each other and how we then project that out into the world okay so the solution for the planet although obviously clearing up the ocean and doing stuff like that is a good thing I'm not saying that it's a good thing to do that but that isn't the solution <clears throat> because if you clean up the ocean then you've still got the tendency inside you to behave like that to not care to not feel to not love what's around you and then so what's going to happen we're going to do that again okay so the real solution to planetary healing is working on yourself finding out some stuff deep within you there are some blocks and things that have been making you feel bad and that have blocked you from feeling and prevented you from caring sometimes and stuff like that and sorting that out so that is actually not that difficult to do with the information that I've been able to find out. And I have a very special process called the reprogramming, which will let you work with and access very deep things, what I call like tree trunk level beliefs. They're at the core, at the foundation of a big network of ideas that you will have within you, all of which are not particularly helpful, you'll be able to release whole trees full of stuff using this process <clears throat> and working with special deep beliefs which um, change everything. Okay, So it's good news in a way because it's actually much easier 
I believe, and I've experienced, to work on things within yourself before they project out into the world and cause a problem, you fix it within yourself, then you've kind of obviated the problem. You will then manifest beautiful things that actually nurture you. So, you know, I, I don't know whether you've thought about or whether you've wondered, you know, why do people harm themselves? Isn't that weird? Why do we do that? Why do we harm ourselves through addictions? Why do people drink alcohol? Why do they smoke cigarettes when they know it's not good for them? Why do we throw rubbish in the ocean when we know that that isn't long term? A very good idea or even short term. Why do we do that? So why we do that is because we are motivated by some ancient conditioning and also some ancient things that happened to humans and to humanity. How we were created which we haven't really understood or known about or been able to take on board and so we just keep regurgitating the negativity over and over again and that's what the real problem is so the real solution is to work on yourself and to release these things that I'm going to share with you okay so you'll be able to follow in a series of videos they're not very long they're longer than the normal you know, it's a selfie, it's a moment, it's a meme, it's a blah 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 because it has to be a bit longer than that because your system needs to process the change okay? so when I'm chatting away and explaining things about the planet while we're doing this exercise of bringing our hands together as we contain various ideas within our hands specific ideas that I'm going to guide you to release which is going to help you feel better about yourself and make you feel more happy and be more relaxed and not have so many head trips and a whole range of things that I'm going to help you with. Um, I'm just giving you time so that your system can process it because you have to process it and that's part of it and then after you've released it then you need to integrate it. Um, now the changes I'm giving you they're big changes they are foundational level concepts that it's taken years to discover and research Okay, so it's taken me years to go all the way down through every little leaf on the tree, down every branch, keep going all the way down to the very root of the tree and then release it there, um, which eliminates huge areas of neg negativity in your subconscious system. Okay, and when that isn't there anymore, you then need to integrate it. And what that means is if, if you imagine that there's always been a, a giant gnarly forest just over here and you know you spent your whole life trying to get through it you know and you're all kitted up with your ladder and your saw and your you know your equipment and everything for climbing and getting through the forest and suddenly I clear it for you so I come along and I just go with a special process that just makes the problem go away okay so then you have to get used to it not being there and that's the integration so obviously if you've spent your entire life trying to get through a forest and you're all kitted up and ready for that if suddenly it's not there if suddenly it's turned into a beautiful meadow full of flowers and butterflies then you might be a bit like oh okay so some people skip and dive gaily into the meadow and start dancing which is great they can accept the change and just get on with it. Other people are like, oh, is it okay for me to go over there now because um, there's no forest? Or they might be like, we should put a fence around that. You know, it's not safe over there because I don't have to do anything or something. Uh, or they might even start replanting it, you know. So what I'm saying is that you need to, when you do these changes with me, you'll need to integrate them, which means using the open mouth breath that I'm going to be showing you, which is a gentle in and out through the mouth. Um, and that allows your energy to start to flow in your system, which might feel very unfamiliar to you. It will probably make, might feel a bit out of control until you get used to it. But you'll get used to it, and I'm going to talk you through it and tell you what to expect and once you get used to that it's that that actually brings you health well-being abundance and all those things that you want and in actual fact the stagnant blocked energy which is when you clamp down on your feelings and you block things that have happened to you you end up carrying that all around 
that is what makes you sick, okay? So every time you release stuff, every time you use the open mouth breath, you are investing in your well-being, in your health, in your happiness, in your abundance, in your enjoyment of life, and you're investing in that for the planet. So as you transform yourself in these deep ways that I'm going to share with you, you're investing in planetary health. You are actually saving the planet, which is what this is about. Okay, so dive in, start wherever you feel like, just get on with the process. Let me know if you've got any questions. Come visit me at my website, which is jalila.com, J-E-L-I-L-A.com, uh, to have a look at what's available and to get more. And uh, send me an email and let me know what you think. Thanks for listening. <laughs>